I highly recommend if you guys are into knives, which I am, I'm a very sick individual when it comes to knives. I love them. I collect them. However, I do tend to have knives that are very useful in purpose. I do not collect knives that I don't envision a use for according to my own personal systems, both in my military job and my law enforcement doings. Uh, I want a knife that can serve me. And this is just one such knife. Super Tinker and Onyx. And what I was going to say is if you guys are into knives, comb the websites constantly. Not just the knife websites, but also the outdoor websites. I bought several of these Super Tinkers and also its companion, the Mechanics Knife, which I'll show you in just a second here, for $17. Now you're saying, oh, that's about normal for a Swiss Army knife. Well, and I showed you guys this in my extended backpacking stay video, but look at that beautiful Vic uh, Victorinox knife. Super Tinker. Isn't that beautiful? That has that translucent, smoke-colored plastic handles. Limited edition. And I got each of these knives for $17. Through SierraTradingPost.com, I bought them in about 2004, so it's been a while back. But I was just combing the website, and bam, there they were. And you'll see deals like that if you just keep your eyes open for them. And that's this is going to be a quick review of this amazing knife because it, to me, typifies what I love about Victorinox in most respects. One is that they have some really limited edition, wonderfully produced knives that are just very attractive. And this is one of them. I'm very uh, attached to that colored handle. I just love it. It's really cool. Now, this one is new in box. And this is, again, the Super Tinker. I'm not going to go over in depth all the tools. You guys know the Swiss Army knives and know what they can do and what they can't do. But I will go over just so you know what the Super Tinker is equipped with, at least this specific model. There's your Phillips driver right there. There's your Reamer, i.e. punch. I talked about that in my cadet review. That's one that's just an indispensable tool, if you ask me. You can uh, sew with it, drill with it. Make holes. Really great for wilderness trap making. Awesome. There's your main blade. Standard clip blade. Pen knife variety. And I like to steal the Victorinox uses. I'm happy with it. Uh, yeah, it dulls relatively quick, but it's really easy to sharpen. And it will take a fine edge if you use the right sharpening method. I've always dug their tank stamp, too. Remember when I was a little, was a little kid? I also I love this. That Officer Suisse right there at the tank. That was so cool. I just, like I've told you before, I just always wanted a genuine Swiss officers or Swiss army knife. And I always looked at the tang when I found one that looked like it. And generally I wouldn't find what I'm looking there. I'd find a ripoff one. But I still lo love how they stamp that. Ah, it's just cool. Love it. Yes, I have a big thing for Swiss army knives. And there's that little pin blade. I really don't use my pin blades that much. I always use the main blade. It's uh, it's there if you need it, though. There's your tw uh, your toothpick, your tweezers on the other side. This would be the advantage of having the plastic handled one versus the Alox handled one. I showed you in my cadet review. I sure like these tweezers, by the way. Tweezers are so nice to have. You guys that carry your Swiss Army knives around that have them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You saw my uh, rule of law everyday carry system. That indeed, if I have a uh, if I don't have a Swiss Army knife with me, I just carry tweezers separately uh, in my fanny pack, sometimes in my pocket, depending on what's going on. But very helpful to have. Then we come to our driver bits. Call them driver bits, not really that. The 6mm flat blade screwdriver. you got the six, uh, the 3mm one on the tip of the can opener. And I told you how I like that can opener. I do. It just works. This is your cap lifter over here and the wire stripper. Very effective. I want to tell you too, this is a very, and I'll annotate this on my cadet review, this is a very effective um, tool, probably the most in any Swiss Army knife. I was at the range today shooting guns and I had to change my optics. This 6mm flat blade screwdriver is perfect for adjusting your optics. I just love it. I think it's really cool. Then we get into the scissors. The Super Tinker has the scissors. And I'll show you the differences of the mechanic. I love the Victorinox scissors. I think they're adequate. These ones are bigger than most other offerings. In other words, if you were to go to a smaller Swiss Army knife, um, different versions, you would see scissors smaller than this one. These are about mid-sized scissors. 
Very effective. Spring lasts pretty much forever. There's your lanyard attachment. They always use a nice stainless steel split ring there that works just perfect. So that's a super tinker. Beautiful smoke handles. Now it's brother and companion that I bought with it. And this is uh, something I bring out of my glove compartment. I always like having a knife with me. And for various reasons, uh, I just may not. And at least that's the way it used to be. And I would always have one in the glove compartment. And so this is a pockets, night eyes, uh, pockets utility container I use. And this is a Swiss Army knife. And that's where I keep it. This is a mechanics version. It's basically the same knife, except instead of the scissors, we get a set of pliers. I looked on Victorinox's website, and of course they don't list either one of these right now. And you guys know that our Swiss Army knife aficionados, they come and go. They're always changing the models. And also they make different models for different vendors. Maybe not listing them on the homepage of Victorinox. That's just the way they work. So sometimes when you see a knife like this, in this limited coloration, in this translucent handle, and you like it, uh, maybe you don't want to wait until it goes on sale because you just may not get it. How, what do I think about these pliers? I like them. They're kind of on the small side. They definitely don't measure up against the Leatherman style pliers, but they're still very effective for their size and what they can do. I like the mechanics for backpacking, and that's why I showed it to you in my extended stay backpacking series of videos because it's relatively lightweight, and when I go fishing, that's a set of pliers that actually works for disgorging the hook from the fish. Let's see what that weight is. I forget offhand. It's three something, I think. Yeah, 3.6 ounces for the mechanics. That's going to be just a little bit heavier than its brother in the background, that super tinker. Um, but you get those pliers uh, in addition to that. Notice the thickness. You're going to get a little bit more thickness with that mechanics versus a super tinker. Um, I sew a lanyard onto mine, the ones that I use in the out of doors, just in case I lose it. This is a military webbing lanyard I sewed on, OD variety. And that just makes it easier to grasp out of the pocket as well. My survival instructor years ago always told me, hey, dude, when you use your knife, you should always have it in a pouch, and you should always have it lanyarded to your person. And he's right. I think I mentioned that in another video, maybe my backpacking video. The thought being is if you drop this, even with this lanyard, even with a maybe a brightly colored lanyard, you still may not find it. And generally speaking, to have it lanyarded to your person, somehow, maybe on a belt loop and a survival vest, that's a smart way to do to do business because then you know right where it's at. It's easy to find and you won't lose it. Um, now, if you're looking for an all-inclusive tool, in other words, along the line of Leatherman, maybe a Swiss champ or something along, uh, you know, down that road, you may not be happy with knives of this, uh, I don't know, of this assortment of tools because it's somewhat limited. I showed you what it has. Uh, compared to maybe a Leatherman S2 Juice, it is going to be less capable. However, that S2 Juice is going to weigh more. Specifically one point, or I guess not that much more, less than an ounce more, 3.6 versus 4.4. Now, if, if I was going for out-and-out -out utility, I'm going to prefer the S2 Juice, truth be told. If I'm talking about pure performance, it is amazing. The pliers, like I've shown you in my review of the S2 Juice, are vastly superior to the ones of these Victorinox uh, the Swiss Army knife. And you can see there is a big difference. Uh, the ones on the left, i.e. the Leatherman, they have that hard wire cutter, the dedicated and very effective general wire cutter, knurled jaws, you know, and then the grasping capability of that fine, those fine teeth towards the end. Now we do have some of those fine teeth also on the mechanics version. Uh, am I right or wrong? Yeah, they're very shallow, though. They really don't function as well as the Leatherman's. And you do have the neural jaws. It's just that they are not, you're not just, you're just not going to get the leverage you do with the S2 juice. But, and then I could go into the differences in tools here. Just reference my S2 review if you're curious about what the S2 can do for you. But overall, and for the smallness of the com and the compactness of the package, both the Super Tinker in the background and this Mechanics, Swiss Army Knife have a lot to offer, and most tasks you'll be ready for with the tools included. Now that's just practicality and performance. On the flip side, collectability and just overall satisfaction with these knives, 
uh, incredible because they are limited edition. They have those beautiful handles. I try to really keep them, you know, nice. I try not to scratch them up. Another reason why I have it in that utility pocket right here so they don't get all messed up. I have another one of these around somewhere that is pretty thrash that I've used in the pocket a long time. But there you have it. Victorinox limited edition super tinker and mechanics knives. Maybe you can find them on the secondary market. Who knows what you'll find out there. But they sure are cool. Thanks for watching. Nothing fancy. A couple Swiss Army.